Hey YouTube, this is Mr. No 14 and today I have another what the blank moment. Now this WTF moment is dedicated to Intel. Now, Intel has decided to change the name of its processors. Now they say this is supposed to make it less confusing for the average consumer out there. So what they're doing is taking that Core M processor and changing it to Core I. So basically Intel has these two cores. They have the Core M line and then they have the Core I line. Everybody know the Core I line is the best. Okay, if you want to do gaming, video editing, multitasking, you get a Core i5 or Core i7 processor. Now, if you just want to browse the web, listen to music and stuff like that, then you go out and you get the Core M model. Okay, that's a less expensive chip, so you're going to pay less money for a computer with that chip in it. So, Intel with this year's Gabby Lake processor model said, okay, we're going to come up with this bright idea and we're going to change the Core M name to Core I. Okay, so they said this is going to make it less confusing for the average Joe who goes in to Best Buy or goes on Amazon.com or goes into an office store and wants to purchase a new PC. Okay, now you see the problem. If they change the name from Core M to, to I, then how will the average consumer know that it's a less powerful processor? See, this is the old trick game with the name changing changing that manufacturers do to sell things. So this is what they're going to, this is what the uh they're going to do. They know that the Core i5 and i7 has a great reputation. They know that this is the gaming processor, okay? This is the video editing processor. So we're going to take our less productive chips and turn them to eyes and use their reputation to sell these less powerful chips. Shame on you Intel because when you do that you're not only confusing the consumer but you're making them believe that they're getting a high quality chip when they're not and thus instead of that great name you have with the i5s and i7s and it, now you're going to ruin because people are out there thinking that they're going to get a faster processor, a better processor, and they, it has the i5, i7 name, and it's really an old M, Core M processor. So as you see what I'm saying, that I was really shocked when I heard this because consumers do it all the time. I mean, from food to anything you know they reduce the amount that's in there they put it in a bigger box but give you less content anyone knows that when you open up a, a potato chip a potato chip bag that it's mostly air and then the chips are pretty much at the bottom <laughs> so basically that's what they're trying to do they're trying to use the reputation of the i5 and give it to the core m you know but that's what i'm saying what people are getting is that empty potato chip bag with all the air okay so I wanted to let people know and to be aware that this is going to happen this year so that when you go out to the store or something like that to the office stores and you want to buy a new computer because you know it's school time again kids are going back to school kids new, need new tablets and need new computers you know and you see that i5 you're going to be thinking that you're getting them the latest and greatest computer and you're going to see that reduction of two hundred dollars you're going to say well i went to best buy and the i5 and i7 was two hundred dollars more than this than this one here at the office store well that's because it's going to be a less powerful chip people intel is just playing the name game with you switching up the names and confusing the consumers and basically ruining the name of the i5 i7 processor because now they're making the core m processors i5s and i7s i mean i'm just i don't know how to respond to what they're doing you know because this is not less confusing this is more confusing okay so again i want you to be aware of this now there is a way for you to tell if you have the low-grade Core M model 
this is why I'm really doing this so that I can put this information out there so that the average Joe you know or average soccer mom will not be led astray by a price okay so we know that the Core M processors in the model name has a Y in it so you'll see if you go in to the to the settings and excuse me into the settings of Microsoft and you actually look at what you have in your system it'll tell you the model no number if you go to product information and stuff like that it'll tell you what model what Windows version you're operating in and if you see when you see the processor if you see i5 Y then you know that is a core M processor that that is a less powerful processor that they're trying to sell you to make you believe that it's an i5 that it's one of the top lines okay so the way to tell that if you have a core i5 a true i5 or i7 is that you'll see a u in the model number so it'll say i5 i7 dash u something or you'll see a u somewhere in that model number when you go to the product information when you go into settings to see what's exactly in your pc so i'm hoping this will help you because like i said you won't even be able to tell even if you see dual if it's a dual processor or a quad or if it has six processors or eight processors you'll still be thinking that wow it's got eight processors this is really fast but if it's a core M it doesn't matter how many processors it has it's a low grade processor okay so you actually have to go into the settings you actually have to be able to know what you're doing be able to look at that and know the difference again the core M is going to have a U the core I is going I mean excuse me let me change that the core M is going to have a U and the core I is going to have I'm okay <laughs> excuse me I know I'm saying this right but I just want to make sure I'm doing this correctly the core M will have a Y in it and the core I will have a U in it okay so I hope this helps you excuse me for getting that all confused real quick but like I said the core M should have a Y the core I should have a U in the model name so when you're going out there and you're seeing these great discounts you know always believe that if it's a good price there's something wrong with it because it is <laughs> and I hope this helps you like I said this is Nor and I'm out for another what the blink moment